Hey there, Ashutosh here. How do you do guys and sorry for the delays due to my exams. As of today, we are going to talk about the difference between the original Faraday current and the Faraday type current. So generally we think that the Faraday current is similar and both these do not have any differences. So today we will see how both of them differ. So this video ko shurwaat karne se pehle, agar aap is channel pe nahi hain, to subscribe kijiye. हिट कीजिए नोटिफिकेशन बेल ताकि आप ऐसी कोई भी अपडेट्स मिस ना कर सकें वीडियो को लास्ट तक जरूर देखिएगा बिकॉज हाफ नॉलेज इज ऑलवेज डेंजरस तो चलो वीडियो को स्टार्ट करते हैं सो एज वी नो दैट फेरेडिक करंट सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द डिफरेंस दैट इज टू से ओरिजिनल एंड द फेरेडिक टाइप करंट सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस द डिफरेंस वी विल एक्चुअली लुक एट वॉट इज द फेरेडिक करंट सो फेरेडिक करंट इज एक्चुअली द थेरेपेटिक करंट विच इज यूज इन फिजियोथेरेपी फॉर वेरियस इंटरवेंशन सो फेरेटिक करंट फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट इज द थेरेपेटिक करंट ओके एंड इट इज एक्चुअली द लो फ्रिक्वेंसी करंट वी हैव थ्री करंट्स ऑल टूगेदर लो फ्रिक्वेंसी मीडियम फ्रिक्वेंसी एंड हाई फ्रिक्वेंसी सो फेरेटिक करंट कम्स अंडर द लो फ्रिक्वेंसी करंट सो द लो फ्रिक्वेंसी करंट रेंजेस फ्रॉम वन टू थाउजेंड हर्ट्स सो the low frequency currents all the low frequency currents like faradic current whether it is tens or any other so the range is the low frequency current range is 1 2000 hertz so faradic current lies between that we are going to see the various ranges of the faradic current later on but uh, as of now we know that low frequency current faradic current is low frequency current next is basically used for the stimulation of the innervated muscles so it is generally not used for the denervated muscles because we know that denervated muscles needs long duration currents for the for them to get excited so we use the inner uh, we use the faradic current for the uh, stimulation of the innervated muscles so this is just a brief introduction about the faradic current and in uh, upcoming videos we will see uh, various uses and all so just a brief introduction about the faradic current what it is now we will see the uh, basic difference between uh, the faradic current the two faradic currents so as we have seen that there are basically two faradic currents one is original faradic current and next is the faradic type current so there are two currents original and the faradic type current so uh, we are going to see a knockout difference between both of them so first we'll start with the first point the original faradic current is the low frequency pulsed current as we know it was it was the first current used so it was low frequency pulsed current but if we see about the faradic type current it is actually short duration interrupted dc because we generally give some interruptions uh, in the stimulus when we are applying it so it is actually short duration interrupted dc short duration because we are applying it to the innervated muscles which are having the intact nerve supply that is why it is short duration so faradic type current is short duration interrupted dc next is the frequency what are the frequencies of both of the both of them so first is the frequency of original faradic current so original faradic current was having frequency of about uh, 30 to 70 hertz and uh, if we see for the faradic type it is about 50 to 100 hertz so both of them differ slightly the original one is having little bit low frequency range while the faradic type it is having a wide range of uh, frequency next we move on to the pulse duration the pulse duration for the original faradic current was about 1 uh, millisecond or less than 1 milliseconds altogether but if we see for the faradic type the pulse duration is almost 0.1 to 1 milliseconds so the range is 0.1 to 1 millisecond as we have discussed that faradic type current is short duration current so the pulse duration is very very less and the uh, bandwidth of this is 0.1 to 1 milliseconds next uh, we will discuss about the waveform the original faradic current is having the waveform of uh, biphasic asymmetrical so it was having a biphasic asymmetrical waveform so it was uh, like this we will discuss this later on but uh, it looks like this this graph long duration short intensity and high intensity short duration so this is uh, how the graph for the original faradic current looks like next is 
the damped oscillations which is uh, produced by the uh, faradic coil so actually the production of the original faradic current was done by the faradic coil this was done by the faradic coil earlier on and uh, later after some time uh, the smart bristro faradic coil came up and uh, with a, with this graph having some damped oscillations almost about 1000 cycles per second so this is by the faradic coil and this is by the advanced uh, faradic that is uh, smart bristro faradic coil so we can say that original faradic current is produced by the faradic coil next uh, we will see the waveform for the faradic type current that is uh, monophasic so it is not biphasic it is monophasic for the faradic type current and uh, it is not having two phases only single phase that is why we call it as monophasic waveform so production in case of uh, faradic type current is by the multi vibrator circuit so for the original faradic current it was faradic coil as we have discussed and uh, for the faradic type current it is actually the multi vibrator circuit so multi vibrator circuit is altogether a big circuit we will discuss in uh, in any other video but uh, as of now faradic type current is produced by the multi vibrator circuit so both of them are produced by some different circuits and uh, they are having some different graphs now we will discuss about the graphs in little bit detail about uh, how they look and uh, what they are all about so we have discussed the far far difference between the original and the faradic type current so we will look at the waveforms the waveform difference between both of these currents so original faradic current as we have discussed that it is having uh, biphasic asymmetrical current so uh, biphasic asymmetrical uh, current what it does it signifies so on this axis we have current that is to say intensity and here we have duration in case in terms of time so the this is the first phase of the cycle as we have told that uh, it is biphasic asymmetrical so yes it is uh, asymmetrical because the area under the graph is uh, different and uh, the phases also varies how we will see the first phase is this which is about long duration and uh, short intensity because the intensity is very less and uh, the duration is very long so longer duration and shorter intensity or low intensity next phase is with high intensity and low or shorter duration so this is the basic difference uh, which is having between the first and the second phase that is why we call it as biphasic having two phases and asymmetrical because the phases vary here in uh, terms of duration and intensity so this is the graph or waveform for the original faradic current next is the faradic type current so in faradic type current we have uh, basically the monophasic uh, form of wave which is uh, having the same current or intensity here and time duration here plotted and uh, we obtain or we use the monophasic current in this case of faradic type current so faradic type current is actually having the uh, monophasic wave forms because in the modern electronic uh, circuits we use this mono uh, monophasic wave form and not the original faradic current wave form because this phase is not required by us uh, for the stimulation as uh, the faradic type current is interrupted dc so we removed this uh, phase the first phase and only the second phase is left with so we obtain the second phase because the first phase is removed out so we have we are left with the second phase of uh, the of uh, in the faradic type current so that's why you obtain the monophasic uh, faradic type current so this is the basic difference between the waveforms for the original faradic current and the faradic type current i hope you are cleared with all your concepts regarding this two faradic currents and if it is so then please let me know in the comment section if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe and hit the notification bell to get the latest updates first you can watch my other videos by clicking on the i button and i have i have made many such quality contents for you guys Okay then guys milte hain agle video mein till then keep watching and keep sharing my videos so until next time ashutosh here signing off